In this video, I want to give you my honest review of the Keepa extension from Keepa. So, if you've never heard about Keepa, Keepa is a program online that tracks almost every item on Amazon, their pricing history, their sales history, sales rank history, um, buy box price history, all sorts of stuff, like a ton of information. And it helps. Amazon sellers make a better sourcing decision with this information because you can look in the past information, notice trends, and best predict the future, what the future is going to be like. And I have tons of videos. You can even go to fulltimefba.com slash readkeepa for a quick little keepa one-on-one -on, -one on how to read a keepa graph. But these keepa graphs are amazing, and there's a way that you can just completely add a keepa graph right into an Amazon sales page. And you do it with this extension. Uh, this extension is awesome. Uh, it comes with uh, the Google Chrome extension. There's a Safari extension for Keepa, uh, Mozilla, uh, Opera, uh, Windows 10, all those, and maybe even more after I talk about this. Um, different types of web browsers that you can use to just gently place a Keepa graph into a Amazon sales page. In fact, uh, let's take a look at one right now. Just an Amazon sales page without Keepa. And then I'll show you what it looks like with Keepa and show you just how awesome the Keepa graph is. I'm going to do a screen capture of my computer. You can watch it in action. Let's go take a look. All right, here we are on an Amazon sales page for this Hot Wheels Toxic Gorilla Slam gas station and tire repair shop playset with adjustable launcher. It's a cool toy, um, and we can just kind of uh, scroll down, and it just looks like, you know, a normal Amazon sales page. Um, nothing really special about it. But let's scroll back up and go and activate the Keepa extension. So the Keepa extension is activated. All right, here we are on the Amazon sales page, and as we scroll down, we can see something. Oh, there is now a totally, fully interactive Keepa graph showing you information about this particular product. We've got sales rank history in green. We've got the pricing history in blue, uh, buy box history in like hot pink. What would you call this color? I'm a little colorblind, hot pink. Um, we've got Amazon in stock from the shaded orange area. Um, and that's just the stuff that I have turned on. It's totally interactive. I can take a look at collectible prices, um, new third party fulfillment by merchant prices, new third party FBA prices. I can take a look at prices in used different conditions. So much information. And when you scroll your cursor across, all this information pops up in a moment in time. For So for Saturday, August 6th, you can see all the different prices from different sellers, the sales rank for the particular item, the buy box price, so much information that is interactive. You want to see uh, a little bit more? Click the more historical data. Uh, here is the new offer count. These are the number of sellers at the time of when that information is gathered. Um, you can check out the used offer count, collectible. You can also look at the ratings to see how the ratings have changed. Um, like again, I said, it's totally interactive. You can uh, push whatever buttons you want and and play around with it so this helps you make smarter sourcing decisions because you can look at trends you can take a look at the last three months or take a look at the last year um, in fact in when the spacing is white or the shading is white that means Amazon's out of stock um, so oh well look what happens when Amazon's out of stock the prices go up um, so a lot of information right there if you want a full keep a you know, intro, uh, Keepa 101, how to read a Keepa graph, go to fulltimefba.com slash readkeepa. I'll walk you through it. Right now, I'm just talking about the extension and how it works. A uh, lot of really good information. Um, if you want to say, okay, you know what? I have I would like to know when this product, when Amazon goes out of stock for this product, or I want to know when this product has a price that goes up to, you know, $80, or I want to know when a price decreases to $20. You can click on track product and uh, put in all sorts of information. There's simple tracking for the free plan. Um, if you want to look at advanced options, you can look at advanced options or pro options and it gives you even more information that you can try to track and set up your tracking uh, where Amazon will email you whenever a certain goal is accomplished, whether the price going up or down. You can switch this around. Um, if you want to know how many if, if an item ends up selling out, so you can take, you know, the new offer count is is zero. So, you know, because you know an item sells out, you can pick whatever price you want almost. So that's awesome. That's the track product. You can look at the data information. One of the things I do with the data information as it loads is to make really good decisions based off of variations. 
So with this, you get all the information. Um, average sales rank drops, how many average sales rank over certain days, um, when it's out of stock, how long as Amazon goes out of stock, um, when it first started tracking the, I mean, you can look at this for yourself. You have eyes and a brain uh, and check out all that data information. Um, I, one of the things I like to do is click at the variations tab. So looking at the variations tab, we can see, okay, this item has three, three rows, which means there's three variations. Uh, we can actually sort this item, these items, it looks like it's already sorted, but you can sort the items from most number of ratings to least number of ratings. And so I can see, okay, this item right here, uh, the um, the Toxic Gorilla Slam gas station and tire repair playset uh, is the one that's selling the most. Sometimes someone adds a little bundle with uh, more tracks or bundles it together with another type of playset. Um, these items are most likely not selling very much because they're not getting very much reviews. The more reviews, the more sales. So just know that you can look at and scroll that information and kind of see uh, for yourself what it is that you uh, want to look at. It's so cool. All this information right here on a creepograph and it just pops right into an Amazon sales page. So looking at the screen, that's a ton of information right there, just right there for you. And it can get to be overwhelming, but I can show you how to look at a keepograph in just two or three seconds and know right exactly if it's something you need to buy or pass. All right, so that is how you are able to get the Keepa Chrome extension for your Google Chrome browser. Um, there's other browsers that are available. You can just go to fulltimefba.com slash Keepa and then click on the apps tab and you can download the Keepa um, extension for whatever browser you happen to be using uh, that they support uh, and you can put a keep a graph right there in the Amazon sales page so when you go to Amazon you're doing online arbitrage or wholesale sourcing or maybe you're wanting to check something you did retail arbitrage on you can just go to that Amazon sales page and boom keep a graph is right there it's interactive so much stuff that you can do with it i highly recommend it again fultimfba.com slash keepa just remember there are certain features on the keepa extension um, and just keepa all together that only work with a subscription with a paid subscription now there's a free plan you can get limited information but with the subscription plan you get unlimited information uh, that will help you make smarter sourcing decisions again you can look into the past to best predict how the future will go when it comes to sales velocity uh, pricing trends and competition numbers all sorts of fun stuff it will help you be a better sourcer and a more successful Amazon seller. And if you're finally ready to like learn everything that there is to know about Keepa, that's not just like this video is just scratching the surface, go check out fultimfba.com slash Keepa course. I have an entire course over five hours of video similar to this where I do a screen capture walking you through looking at a Keepa graph, how to understand it, how to make decisions. Uh, there's so many different uh, features and options that you can use with Keepa that they can kind of become overwhelming. I want to help you overcome that overwhelm by breaking down all the barriers uh, and explaining exactly what to look at so that you get to a point where all you have to do is look at a Keepa graph for like two or three seconds and boom, you know, I should buy it, I should source it, I should resell it, or I should leave it on the shelf and just continue walking away. So let me know what you think about this video and be sure to check out the Keepa course. The price is actually going to be going up very soon. Fulltimefba.com slash Keepa course uh, because this course, we just keep adding to it. It keeps getting updated and, um, and, and it's just price is too low so i'm gonna raise the price fultimfba.com slash keep a course go check it out so that's it for this video thanks for watching it again check it out fultimfba.com slash keepa have a great day bye